and welcome back to another speed build. For today's speed build, I am showing you a cottage that I built in Willow Creek and I just felt like building a cottage. <laughs> um, I haven't built a cottage in quite a while, so I just decided to uh, do something a little bit different. Um, I generally don't build cottages in Willow Creek either, so it's kind of like, I don't know, just uh, doing something new, I guess. Um, I always build my cottages in like Henford on uh, Henford on Bagel or whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it. Bagley? Is it Bagley? Yeah. Um, I usually build my cottages in that world or I build them in um, uh, Windenburg. Um, but yeah, I generally don't build them in Willow Creek. So I was like, oh, it'll be a nice change. And I don't think I've ever built anything on this lot, believe it or not, which is kind of funny. Like, you think I would buy now with the amount of builds I've done, but I this is the first time I think I've built something on this lot. And I have to say, it's such a really nice lot. I don't know why I never built on it before. So it's, uh, you know, time to learn new things, I guess. I don't know. I'm tired. So, um, but <laughs> yeah, so this little uh, build is, it's actually a decent size home. It doesn't look like it would be big, but it's got quite a bit of space. It's got uh, three bedrooms, one bathroom. Two of the bedrooms are on the main floor. And then the upstairs portion, which is the third bedroom, is like that extra like wide dormer that's on the top, if that makes sense. Not the small one, but the uh, bigger one. Um, I didn't put anything for like um, bedrooms in or rooms in that smaller dormer that's on the side. So I suppose if somebody wanted to add like a ladder up in there, they probably could. So, but uh, I just didn't do that because I only used um, four packs for this build. So I used um, get together, city living, seasons and parenthood for this pack. So it's another limited pack build. That way more people can download it if they like. And yeah, so I just I just decided to just do a cottage. I was like, I'm in a cottage mood. So um, I built a cottage in Willow Creek and I think it turned out pretty cool. It's, uh, it's kind of nice to take a break from building cottages because I felt like before that was kind of just all I was doing and I was just getting bored of it and nothing felt new or fresh so it was nice to kind of step away from that and do other builds for a bit and it was nice to do a cottage one again so yeah um but yeah it's a pretty spacious home it's got a really big kitchen on the back and it's also got a decent sized yard and I even put a garage on the back there that um with a nice little driveway so there's like extra space there so you can put like stuff in the garage so storage or like I don't know you could put a foos table in there I guess whatever those things are called is it a foos table foosball table yeah or um I don't know what else do they play with um I don't know you could put like a uh, arts and crafts stuff in there or, or any kind of hobby thing but it's enough room that you could uh put hobby things in there that you can't fit in the house so yeah, so I thought this uh, build was pretty cute. Um, I thought I'd add a little bit of brick on the bottom to make it, you know, kind of nice, I guess, different. Um, I usually always use the, um, oh, what's that rock tiling called? It's like that stone look. Um, I think they're from Cottage Living or something. Anyways, I use those exteriors a lot but I didn't use cottage living in this. So this is technically a cottage without cottage living. So, um, but I really like that brick um, texture, that one. I think it's from City Living actually. And it's like, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like fake brick or something. And like, I don't know. I just like the texture of it. It just looks less perfect than just the regular brick. I don't know. That probably doesn't make any sense, but, uh, um, yeah, so that's why I kind of like that one better. And 
yeah, the uh, the landscaping is pretty simplistic. Put some nice little vines up the side of the house. Um, what else about this build? It's got a nice little deck on the back too, and a nice little area in the yard. So there's like um, like a patio table and chairs and barbecue and some other like little chairs that people can sit on. I even put a telescope in the backyard and some cool like backyard lanterns and stuff so they can have a nice little party in their backyard I suppose <laughs> um, but yeah it's a it's a good decent sized house I say, I'd say you could fit like four sims in this house because um, the one bedroom that I put in there that's on the main floor it kind of sits at the front of the house there and it's got like I just put like young adult slash like teenager looking kind of room I guess I don't know it, you, you could probably use it as a guest room too but um and then the other room is just the main bedroom with like the double bed and then the upstairs room is big enough that you could make it into like a kid's bedroom as well so a family could live here pretty comfortably the living room is a decent size um I just ended up using like a love seat and stuff for the living room so I guess there's not that much seating and the bathroom's a little bit small but it's kind of all you need right so but I love how the kitchen turned out I just wanted like really bright and cheerful colors nothing too dark um, I don't use that kitchen tiling very often so I thought you know that'd be a great thing to use out of the parenthood pack and then I used a lot of the uh, the cupboards out of there and stuff a lot of the stuff out of that pack are just really cute I don't know I just I like it so um, but yeah, I haven't used these cupboards in like a long time. They used to be like my staple kind of like kitchen counter or whatever that I would always choose when I first started building because I just liked the look of it. And also it had the best color swatch for white. So <laughs> for like white cupboards. So I would always choose that one. But um, now that they've re-colored um, some of the base game uh, cupboards and stuff, it's you know there's a little bit more variety with that so oh yeah and you can see those cute little sticky notes or post-it notes that are on the fridge I finally found where the heck they are like for the longest time I could always see people putting those little notes on the fridge and I was like what is that like I knew it was a debug item but I could not find it and the reason why I couldn't find it is because there's no picture of them in the debug they're actually from parenthood the parenthood pack but like there's no there's no picture like there's nothing there it's just like blank when you're searching for it so I had to like click through them and then they would finally just appear and then I would put them on the fridge or whatever I don't know man it took me like it took me years to figure that out <laughs> Because I saw people doing that like over a year ago and I was like, where is that, you know? And then I went and searched up. I think I found a YouTube video. I can't remember who it was that was talking about it. And they're like, yeah, it's in the debug menu and this. And it's like, oh, well, no wonder I couldn't find it. Like there's just no picture for them. So that's why they're just like this invisible thing in the debug menu. So I could never find them. Cause I was looking for like these notes, right? Cause it, they look really cute. They look like little like grocery lists and to-do lists. So it just adds more realism to the kitchen, but I'm glad I found them finally. So yay for that. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, here's the living room. I absolutely love that, love that love seat. Um, it's such a cute love seat and I never use it ever. So I was like, I need to use this somehow in this build. Um, the living room was initially like way bigger than this. Um, I ended up sectioning it off to, with that front room over there. Um, that's the uh, the young adult room or kid bedroom or whatever you want, to, want it to be. It's just a second bedroom, but um, that way it kind of made the living room a little smaller because I just felt like the living room was just too massive. It was just way too long. I'm like, okay, how am I going to fit two love seats in here and a chair? And it just looked weird because two, like I wanted to use the same love seat, but it just looked weird with like two the same. I don't know. It just looked awkward. So I sectioned off the, um, 
the living room area and made that second room and I think it worked out nicely so I think my cat is doing something oh, I heard something bang anyways he loves to get into things that's just like his thing so uh, cats um, but yeah sectioning that off really helped and then I put this cute little brick accent wall um, with the TV and everything. I actually really like the smaller TVs for some reason. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I think they just look nicer. I, I think it's just really weird when you have like this massive TV like dominating the living room. I think it's great if you have like a little like home theater or something, but I think it's weird if it's like a family room and it's like this massive TV on the wall. I don't know. That's just me, but each to their own. Um, I just prefer the small TVs for The Sims. I just think they look cuter. It's just more personable, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then those cute little bookshelves I put in. Um, yeah, and then there's the stairs that go up to the third bedroom, which is quite spacious. I suppose I could have put the main master bedroom up there, but I just I didn't bother. I put it on the uh, main floor, so... But like I said, people can change things how they want. So yeah. But um, other than that, that's pretty much what I did with the build. Um, kind of sucked like when I was building this though, like the two days that I had off, which was Wednesday and Thursday, those are always my days off. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get some builds done. I'm going to get all this done. And I had so many ideas well and then all of a sudden this heat wave hit and it was like we were hitting like 29 30 degrees Celsius but it felt like 35 degrees Celsius because of the high humidity it was just so bad and I was like oh my god so I was working on this build by height I had to consistently take breaks in between because my computer is like I don't work on a laptop, I have a desktop, and when I'm working on Sims builds, it pumps out a lot of heat into our bedroom, and then the entire room just like heats up, and then my computer gets hot, and everything just gets hot, and it's just so uncomfortable, and then my legs are all sweating, and I'm just like, ugh, so then I had to consistently step away from building all the time and like come back and then finish some stuff and then come back it was just so irritating and for the entire two days that's how it was and I was like why like why is it on the only days that I get off it's like let's have a massive heat wave so I was just like that's just unlucky so um and today wasn't too bad today was still pretty hot though um like I had to work today and I was sitting there just sweating um, when I was at work because um, I work from home but like just because the humidity I, I felt like I was sitting in South America with the hum humidity here it was just ridiculous I was just like ugh, it's just I, I can't stand it I hate humid weather it's not really my thing so but uh, so that was fun um, oh yeah also I used a picture in that bedroom there that it's it's from the gallery um it's by a creator by the name of i think it's like fruit loops or something anyways she makes like pictures that you can put into your houses from i don't know what she makes them out of but she's got all these different uh wall art and stuff that you can use and it's not cc so um yeah that's where i got that so because i was just like I, i'm running out of wall art here <laughs> so yeah that's where I found that it's actually kind of cute I think it really goes nicely with the uh the blue wall on there so um but yeah other than that um I'll probably leave you guys with the rest of the build because I'm starting to sweat again it's starting to get hot in here it says it's 21 degrees out but it's always hotter inland so oof I gotta sit down here there we go <laughs> um, I'm just happy like that fall is coming because oh man like this summer has just been it's been something else and it sounds like a lot of places a lot of different countries have been going through like these massive heat waves so that's that's fun um, so let's all hope we have a nice fall coming up 
Um, oh, we're at the end of the video. All right. Well, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.